this is it. This is the final voyage for 2023, and God willing, we'll be back out next year. We will be. <laughs> we will be. So, we're running late, Dave. There's kind of a crappy reason why oh, I did a real good job tying the boat down there by the looks of it. As long as it's tied up, I don't care. So, this morning we were supposed to take my boat, my new to me boat. I went out and as part of just doing everything diligent this late in the season, I went to check the oil. The oil was way over full. I believe it was the radiator, wasn't it cold? I believe it was the radiator. So Dave came over. At first I thought it was full of water, meaning the oil cooler was gone. We determined that it's full of gas. So I don't know if from just idling and trolling too much and the motor never got up the temp or if I got an injector, I don't know. We'll deal with that in the off season. Something. something. So we're a couple hours late, but we're getting out on November 18th for, this is it. This is it for us. We're not, we're not coming out again. No, well, we won't be able to. No. The weather's supposed to change tonight. And uh, by next weekend, I would imagine the lures will be bouncing. I would so, say uh, so. Yeah, you just gotta play it safe. But Stay it's uh, it's been an awesome season. No, it's Can't good. complain. It's been fun having all you guys kind of follow along. There's sure. been some highlights, some low lights. Some of the obvious ones, for Dave and I, or when we had his stepson Thorn out. Uh, that was my best day for sure. This is the best day ever because I get to spend time with my family, got to catch my first muskie, and got a trophy. The best part of it all was spending time with my family. It wasn't a big fish. It wasn't, wasn't an otherwise spectacular day. But just seeing the smile on his face, yeah, I mean, in his voice, so. yeah, that that's why we do this kind of stuff. I've had some really good days on the water with some clients. That's a nice one. Oh, God. oh yeah, this is a big fish. <clears throat> there she goes. She's. <sighs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Yeah. This is why we do this and with some friends and with Dave. Just like one of the highlights for me was when Dave and I did the three lure challenge. It's something we talked about for a while. For a while and finally had the stones to do it. Yep. So that kind of opened the door up to us doing some more of these challenge style videos. And I think next year we're going to explore that a little bit more. But for today, we are on Eagle Lake. That's it right there. We're down at the government dock in Vermilion Bay. That's world famous Eagle Lake. And we're gonna give her one last kick at the can. And like I said in the last Eagle Lake video, which kind of quoted Dave there, it's a 90% chance we're gonna get skunked, 5% chance that we could catch, and then there's a 5% chance that we could just melt the internet with uh, life-altering fish. Either way, we're going. Yeah, we're going. Let's go guys, come jump in the boat with us and let's see what happens on the final push of 2023. Okay, so we've been out about an hour here, I guess, eh, Dave? Give yeah, or take. Yeah, give or take, yep. We rolled around an island that in the past, Dave actually got the first 50 that we ever caught out of Eagle off of. And we've seen some bait, and I got a little rip. I gonna suspect I might have hit the bait. It's hard to say. Hard to tell, yeah. But it wasn't bottom, that's for sure. No, it wasn't bottom, and Dave caught a, a stick bass. It was pretty nice. Oh, it was a good one, yeah. So we're gonna keep pushing around a few islands here, see if we can find a little bit more bait. And then we're gonna make probably a small run, I think just a little bit west and try a couple islands. And then we're gonna finish up right in the main basin of Vermilion Bay, so. Things are changing, because when we got here, we had a direct west wind, and now we're getting a, a big push out of the north. It's clouding up back there, winter's coming, so stuff's changing. Yep, definitely. So we'll just kind of roll with the punches and we'll see what happens here. And we'll be back a little bit. Two months? Yeah. All right, let's call her, Dave. Give her a Yeah, we give her the old call and subscribe, right? 
That right there, guys, is a hard wrap for us. We skunked for first time all fall. First time in November, yep. But that's the way she goes. We could have chose to go to one of the smaller lakes today and probably get something, but we're like, we're gonna go out swinging, we'll hit Eagle. Because we were late getting out here, we couldn't really make a lot of long runs, so whatever. Oh, whatever. It is yeah. what it is. It's we're fishing. We're, yeah, we're happy with it. And like we said at the beginning, it was an awesome year. I'll sprinkle a few highlights in here as we go. You're gonna have to, there's gonna be nothing to watch. There'll be nothing to watch for sure. And other than that, I mean, I just appreciate you guys watching all the time. And instead of putting a cool video for David to point to, I'm gonna go back to the very first video that we actually caught fish for the channel. Dave's gonna point to that one. Oh geez, I'm gonna have to watch that one. <laughs> Where'd you point? I went up there. Up there? Okay. And other than that, you guys, I'm gonna take a break for at least a month here. So there's gonna be nothing from the channel. Just gonna do a little recharge before Christmas and we're gonna come back with our best of beat wise and gear wise for 2023, right around Christmas and New Year's and- a Shop breakdown or something. Yeah, yeah, we'll kind of go through all that stuff, but we'll kind of be silent here for a month after this and we'll catch you guys pretty much right at the beginning of 2024. And other than that, 54 bus is out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later. later.